Will Gala Games finally break through? Is this the start of Gala Games on a journey to an all-time high to 84 cents? That's what we're going to talk about, guys. In the video, we just had some big news break yesterday with Gala, and I was supposed to interview the president of Gala Games. We've already done that once on the channel, and it's been pushed back again, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because we're going to be bringing you that interview uh, sooner rather than later at some point once our schedules align. Can't wait to hear from Bitbender Jason Brink himself about this new news that we got. We're going to address that later on in the video, but I do want to highlight just what needs to happen in order for Gala Games to make a surge back toward all-time highs and if we believe it can happen. Now, here are a few things that are important to note. Tokenomics have changed, have been adjusted a little bit from back in 2021. They've been adjusted in a much more favorable way for the gala token there are burns that are implemented now that should help us reduce the supply one of the big issues that we had back in 2021 is the just the overwhelming number of gala tokens right and if we can slowly diminish that and reduce that that can obviously drive more demand in the token itself which also drives price so we're sitting here just under four cents right now we have had a nice little pump uh here in the last month or so we're up 60 percent in the last 30 days and uh really earlier what was this yesterday yeah yesterday we pumped all the way up to about the four three level we had 436 million in volume coming in we have dialed back a little bit people took some profits down back down to a 37 right uh level here about three and a half cents a little over three and a half cents somewhere between three and four cents but still overall it's been a really bullish month bullish week and we had a really bullish day yesterday for Gala Games. And this is the reason why. Uh, the Gala Chain ecosystem has entered a new era, introducing Gala Swap, your gateway to secure peer to peer token trading on Gala Chain. Seven tokens are live, including Gala, MTRM, Silk, USDT, uh, GW, ETH, and others. So you could start swapping now. Uh, Gala Swap is live, ready to go. Easily swap your tokens with Gala Swap. So this is a first big step. And speaking of Jason himself, the president over there uh, at at um, at Gala, this was big um, that I that I heard uh, about yesterday. So he had a thread here uh, going, but also where is this? I'm gonna find it. Uh, where is it? He's tweeting a lot here. Uh, where the heck was it? I had it earlier. It was right here on the main page. Maybe it was somewhere in the thread. But here's what he said. Well, I want to dive into some of the specifics here too. But here's what he said. If you think Gala is just a gaming token, think much bigger than that. So he says, for those following the threads, today we're going to talk about the node workloads. There's some heavy alpha at the bottom, so make sure you read it all. Starting point, Gala is the absolute daddy of D-Pin. We deployed a performant node network years ago and have been active supporters of uh, IPFS since the first half of 2021. Wondering what D-PIN is? I got gotcha. you. What are decentralized physical infrastructure networks? Right here, in a nutshell. It's the name for blockchain networks that uses tokens to incentivize communities to build physical infrastructure networks. Think mobility, electrical vehicle charging, telecoms from ground up. The sector has been around for years, but the consensus around the name has ignited a unified understanding that this is Web3's time to shine in the real world. And D-PIN uh, is going to be big here, and it already is. So he's shining a light on that. For years, um, the Gala Founders Node ecosystem has been supporting the decentralized internet. He kind of goes over that, gives some links here. We have continued to grow the abilities of the Node workloads, which was a big part of their upgrades here in the last year as well. We have begun inviting people to come build within the Gala chain. If you wanted to start building on it today, you can check out the onboarding documents and get started. So now with the alpha. Soon we will be announcing a hackathon at GDC with a major partner. This hackathon will be able to get people on Gala chain and there will be significant rewards for those that are selected. We will be hosting a community event for the Gala Gold community at GDC. Look forward to beer, pizza, and games. Uh, that is going to be a uh, major, major um, news there that whatever comes out of that. So uh, the GDC, which is, I believe, their personalized event. Okay, so this was the big news, Gala Swap. Now, in order for us to get here to 84 cents, that is the all-time high. 
we would need to be roughly a $29 billion market cap. It's an upside of about 21X. Do I think we can get there? Yes. And I think Gala is going to go as big as gaming goes. And I know they're going to be more than gaming, but gaming is going to drive the Gala token adoption, in my opinion. This narrative is going to be huge. It's already surfacing back again. It was big in 2021. That's why we saw Gala go to 83 cents. But it has way more now. It has way more, and it has better tokenomics. A lot of that was inflated in 2021. This next big momentum push will be from real people uh, utilizing what Gala has built here. And again, it's going to be more than just the gaming side of it with Gala Swap now, Gala Chain, the fact that people can build. Remember, they have Gala Film, Gala Music, okay? Um, this is a lot bigger than just gaming. And I think gaming will drive it, but also, you know, who knows what's going to happen with the music and film side of it. We have people like Snoop Dogg on board with Gala uh, at uh, at the event a couple of years ago. It's going to be interesting to watch how this plays out. But decentralized music platforms are very much needed, films as well. And I think Gala is getting really into the decentralized entertainment space. That's really their big vision, in my opinion. That's the way I look at it. Um, and obviously... Uh, we saw the Gala gaming token jump after the Gala Swap Exchange launch yesterday with trading rewards. We had a nice high price of uh, about four and a half cents. And uh, that was immediately after the news that Gala Swap had launched, offering what the company says are fast, low cost trades on its Gala Chain Layer One network. Furthermore, the DEX offers trading rewards for users as well as re uh, referral incentives for bringing in additional users. Gala is the publisher behind such games as Champions Arena and Legacy and also operates music and film divisions, as we just kind of touched on. So a lot to get excited about here with Gala Games. A lot to be excited, I think, about the entire gaming sector. And uh, Gala Games looks like they have a lot more up their sleeve than just the gaming side as well. Uh, looking forward to kind of seeing what happens. But, you know, to answer this big question, can Gala get to new all-time highs, 84 cents? Here's what it's going to take, a 21X. From here, current price levels, uh, and you know, currently, that would take us to about a twenty-nine billion dollar market cap. We've been very close to this before, like right on the doorstep, and I think we have a we we have a, obviously a bigger market, and Gala has a lot more to offer. So I do think this could happen. I know they've had their issues with the lawsuit and all of that, um, you know, where the founders are suing the other founder, but nothing has fundamentally changed here. They've still acquired a huge gaming studio, Ember Entertainment, um, back early last year, which I think is huge. They're getting heavy into mobile gaming. They also still have many games in development at various stages. And don't forget about the film side and the uh, entire kind of entertainment realm that they want to get into. And uh, it's going to be it's going to be fun to watch. I'm still very, very much excited about the potential and the future of this company. And we'll be keeping tabs on it for you right here on the channel.